Finally, one of Nigeria's private universities, Babcock University, has opened a new table tennis facility in conjunction with the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation. Named Adeoti Tayo Table Tennis Hall, the new facility is to help promote the sport and provide training and action for Nigerian players. Solomon Ajuziogu reports. This is a synergy between Babcock University and Nigerian Table Tennis, facilitated by the Vice President of the NTTF, Adesoji Tayo, in honor of his father, Adeoti Tayo. On hand to open the modern table tennis facility with Baba Adeoti and the Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Ademola Tayo, is the former Director General of UNESCO, Emeritus Professor Michael Omolewa. There will be an immortalization of the Adeoti Tayo until eternity in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's useful not only for the uh, university. This is something that even uh, the, the National Federation will definitely make use of because it's more or less going to become like a training center. So on behalf of the university administration, I want to say thank you very much for this great gift to the university. And I believe by God's grace, it's going to be very, very useful to our young people. This is a five-table hall with sitting terraces for spectators to catch the action below. With this facility, the VP of the NTTF aims to promote students' participation in the sport and provide a performance center for national players within the enabling environment on the campus. A lot of our talented athletes are not as educated as they should be. And I felt if you have a top-class university somewhere, they should be able to have sports. And then the sports are the topmost level we have the athletes to equally marry both his talent or our talent with education. And this facility is, is fantastic. You know, we hope the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation will make big use of this. It has everything you need, a good a center of excellence for young players. This is what we hope this will become. And I will be working with the ITTF to see how we can assist in terms of equipment, you know, to, to support this facility. Hopefully, the university students will be able you know, to play the game, enjoy the game, and it helps us publicize the game. So we're, we're going to be working very closely with them, make the facility, of course, available to the students, um, hopefully getting one or two of our coaches in here. On hand to open the facility and test the table are current top national players and former champions. If we had the opportunity of this facility in our playing time, I would have played better. I played well, but I would have played better. So this facility um, is world standard because I remember I was in Germany in 1989 with Nigerian team, young players. Where we trained was not perfect, was not anything more than this. The purpose that we created the one in Austria is to get the youth and the same thing, the, the, the same process out here. We want to get the youth involved in our table tennis game so we can take them off the street. This is another effort at growing and developing the sport of table tennis in Nigeria. Hosting this facility at the Babcock University provides another opportunity for the marriage between sports and education in youth character development and nation building. Solomon Ajizugu, TVC News, Babcock University, Elysian, Remo. As the world continues to grapple with climate change and its effects, such as desertification and drought, many communities in Gumbi State have been the hardest hit. A group of climate activists are training some community members on how to climate, uh, combat climate change and earn an income from it. Naria Diemi reports. June 2023 broke records for all the wrong reasons. It is the warmest month ever recorded. The United Nations says that the world has moved from the stage of global warming to global boiling. Jalingo Ako is a small community in Gombe State. The effects of global warming and the resulting accelerated desertification are not only felt here, but can be clearly seen. Their farmlands are fast becoming degraded and unable to sustain agriculture. They are going to go and... These conservationists are working to reverse the downward spiral. 
reclaim integrated lands, lands that have been, you know, that are that, that we term as dead, bringing back life to dead soil, reclaiming them, you know, amending them to suit farming activities. This model is to using the understanding of sustainable agriculture and good agronomic practice, restore this land and also conserve the land so as to um, result to bumper harvest and of course um, affect the livelihood of the community in a very fantastic positive way. The strategy is simple. Trees and shrubs are nature's best shields. Planting, spacing and maintaining these trees and shrubs to maturity is what requires training. Ikori Foundation's intervention is to combat desertification, but for this community, it is a fight for survival. We can have teachers how to plant economic trees, how to reduce soil erosion, and they have taught us the colorific values attached to planting such kind of trees in order to reduce global warming or erosion and so many things and how they can generate money. This thing is very important to our community because uh, these three, they help our people, they help our environment. The Ikori Foundation has planted hundreds of gum arabic, moringa, sesame and other trees and shrubs in desert encroached communities. A tiny drop in the ocean limits same, but for Jalingo Ako community, it makes all the difference in the world. Landry Adiemi, TVC News, Gombe.